Zuyu no solo promotions? Recently, fans noticed that Zuyu, one of the members of TWICE, did not have any individual promotions in 2023. Although she is the group's most followed member on Instagram, and is very popular even among non-fans, she had no activity this year. While other members have been engaged with UNIT and solo debuts, time constraints do not appear to be a factor for Zuyu's absence from individual projects. So fans have voiced their concerns and frustrations, rallying behind the hashtag TZUU deserves better. Additionally, JYP has recently grappled with accusations of mistreatment and mismanagement of their artists. Just last month, fans of ITZY expressed their concerns by sending a protest truck to the JYP building, urging the agency to provide improved promotions for the group. Idol targets Lou Seraphim Upon the release of the title track, I Want That, from Idol's upcoming English mini-album, many fans were quick to speculate that the group tacked on Lou Seraphim. The controversy arose from a misheard lyric in the chorus of the song. While people thought the phrase was, I want that remix ain't no seraphim, it was later confirmed that it was a French phrase. Je veux ça, oui merci, non c'est la vie. I want that remix, non c'est la vie. People who misunderstood the sentence believed that Idol was aimed at Lou Seraphim, cause given that for a whole month Source Music released a series of remixes with international artists for The Music Eve, Psyche, and The Bluebeard's Wife by Lou Seraphim. The company's strategic promotions could be why many fans found the lyrics funny and claimed the diss. IU receives hum threats. On October 6, the agency of IU, Edom Entertainment, released an official statement to inform fans and the public of recent event. Recently, the degree of violence toward artist IU has crossed the line. And hum threat against the artist was received some time ago, dispatching emergency investigation authorities. The artist was in the midst of a filming schedule at the time, and once the authorities concluded the investigation and confirmed that the situation was safe and secure, Edom Entertainment proceeded to take additional measures against the threat by increasing the number of security guard assigned to the artist. Edom Entertainment also said that anyone who participated in habitual slander against the artist will be facing a stream of criminal and civil investigations. Jungkook's address leaked. Not long ago, BTS Jungkook organized a Weavers Live to communicate with his fans. While talking about his upcoming album, Golden, which will be released in November, for a moment, a fan commented, I want to drink with you. To which he replied, You want to drink with me? Should I tell you guys my address? Doesn't everyone already know my address? It's already up. If you type on YouTube, the address will come out. Jungkook then added, But I don't care. I think it's just fate and I just focus on my future with armies. I can't pay attention to every little thing. But you guys really shouldn't come find me. What do you think? <laughs>